Afternoon, Brett. Hey, Pete. How are you? I'm excellent. And you? Oh, I'm good. Good to see you. New splint boots. And That's the ones. Out? That's the ones. Yeah. Oh, I'll show you nice. what we got over here. We're with Brett Mills at RAS R&D Facility here in Redmond, Oregon. Uh, Brett, let's talk about the bell boots in RAS and what you're up to for. Well, we got a new bell and splint boot out, uh, Pete, that offers replaceable Velcro. As uh, most all of us have, have dealt with is the, the, the perfectly good bell boot that won't stay on the horse anymore. <laughs> and it gets full of hair and dirt, and it's just in a nasty environment, it's bound to happen. And uh, we all get tired of buying these, you know, $30 bell boots and uh, they won't stay on there. So we, uh, we've come up with a way that you can replace the Velcro instead of the boot. And basically how that works, you got a boot that goes on, fits like any other boot. However, you can just about that quick right there, you can replace the Velcro. You can put a new Velcro strap in it, just like that right there. Goes on the horse, no different than anything else. Lace that through there, snug it up nice and tight. And you're good to go. You are good to go. It is, yeah. And uh, fits on there good. We also have a splint boot. Offers the exact same replacement straps, so you can carry spares in your trailer. They'll fit either one of these. Got a nice splint boot. It's got a nice pad in here. Lots of nice side protection. This one's been used quite a little bit. Um, they hold up real good. We got one of our boots. As you can see, a lot of these boots are three or four months old, and they get that same same kind of deal. I don't care what the brand is. They all, uh, you can just they won't hold up in that environment. We got the way our laces together. Um, yeah, that's actually, key. it I is spent. key. It is key. This boot right here has got uh, almost a year's use on it. You can see it's completely destroyed. If I had a boot like that, I don't mind buying a new one when it's that worn sure. out. I just hate buying a new one when it's perfectly good. This boot is worn, the straps tore half through, it's half rotted in two, and boy, we still can't pull it apart. You can give it a try if you like. Uh, I'll try. You give it a whirl. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to this one. How's the turning factor? I know boots are turned. Boots do. You afterwards. know, for the most part, we try, we try and uh, ward that off. We got a very large no turn bump in here. Well, yes, sir. As big as any of them on the market. But you know, sometimes you got a straight pasture horse or some real deep ground. The big thing about our boot that differs, Pete, is this boot's tough. It's going to hang on there. It's going to be on the horse. This boot can turn around if you know, it gets in real deep ground, come around here like this. Mm -hmm. It's still on the horse. You still have a level of protection even if this thing's turned around. A horse can hit our boot right here. We use these nylon rings. They're not plastic. They're a nylon ring. They can take an impact from a horse and they spring right back to where they were before. We got almost 4,000 boots on the market and we've warranted one. <laughs> in, in a broken really? in a broken ring. That's oh, that's true true enough. Yep, that's it. So we have all these other wild colors. I see an array of colors. I'm tough you enough to wear pink. Well, this you know, perfect. it's funny you mention that. That we sell a lot of boots, and when they have tough enough to wear pink night at the rodeos, all you got to do is bear a five dollar pair of straps, put them in your splint boots, and you're tough enough to wear pink. We are if you're a barrel racer that likes lime green or green zebra or orange or red or blue or you want to put them on red, white, and blue, you can do it. It's five bucks every time for a for a colored strap. So that's kind of what we got going. We got a tendon boot or a suspensory uh, sport boot coming out. You do. Uh, we do. Uh, it's not here yet, but it's coming. So check our website, which is resboot.com, and it will be uh, will be on there very soon. So uh, come see us at the NFR. If you're going to be down there, come see us there. We'll be there. Uh, if not, get a hold of us on the website and uh, look forward to doing business. Roping here on the facility, too. Horses well, are saddled. Might have to shake out a loop and go chase one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks.